Well, I'm Jack, and I'm his older brother. I'm Will, and I'm his younger brother. Yeah. Liana. Ashna. School. We met in school. Yeah. Back in Dubai. Yeah. How long have you been friends? We knew each other for but a long time. But we weren't really time. friends, like a year. I'm Katie, and this is my mom. <laughs> and I'm Kelly, and obviously this is my daughter. I'm Skylar. I'm Owen. And we're dating? Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been dating for? For just over two years. Yeah. Perfect. So, we have your whiteboard, so we're going to ask you a series of questions. So the first question is, what's one word uh, the other person would use to describe you? Are we going nice or are we going mean here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would say love about you. Oh. I probably would have said intelligent. I wrote funny. I would, oh, I would describe you as funny. Yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah. I said bubbly. I was going to say scatterbrained because he always also tells me I'm scatterbrained, but. Oh, uh, safe? <laughs> <laughs> That's so boring. You're like a nice safe guy. You're the safe guy. Nice. Oh, God. I know the answer for you, but I don't you think know you know my the answer, answer for but me. I don't know the answer for you. Just if you say one direction, I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad. <laughs> Any. I'm thinking. <sighs> yeah. No, ew. I don't know. What? I'm not that basic. <laughs> Who would you want? We can. <gasps> okay, but she's right. Okay, well, I'm right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, she's so happy. Yeah. Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> no chance. Okay, I hope this is how you spell her name. <laughs> oh, yes. I would say that. Yeah. yeah. Friday's off. Midday classes, no earlier late classes, yeah! I said, major, yeah. I said psych major, because she was reading my psych textbook yesterday, and it was mm -hmm. awesome. Um, and I, I said nerd, interesting. so class every day, because she's a nerd. Oh yeah, 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 she's right, okay. Late uh, start, no Fridays. I said you don't want Wednesdays or Fridays. Why is that? Because the mixer's Tuesdays. It's <laughs> <laughs> like an essay. <laughs> I'm in MIT, what can I say? I said he would want mornings only because he hates having night classes and afternoon classes. The and worst. then if he could, a day off, but he's never been able to have a day off because he's in kinesiology. So um, I said no Mondays or Friday classes. I mean, she pretty much already has this schedule. It's true. <laughs> Who'd you say? Lee. <laughs> yeah, I have a twin sister. Uh, that's kind of, yeah, that's expected. Um, They're both killing it, so. Same school? Western? No, she's. she's don't she's say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. She goes to Queens. Oh, you could say it, but I can't say it. Oh, oh Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to go off, be investment, I don't know, working on Wall Street. He's going to be a billionaire. He's going to be a billionaire. We talk about it all the time. <laughs> she's going to be so happy if she ever sees this video. She's very committed. But she's narcissistic, so she loved this. Three, two, one. Why would I want to go to U of T? I don't know. Western. I have to say Western. Like it's yeah, a I, know, you I can't. No, you're right, you do. <laughs> what you did do you say? Enough. U of T. Okay, yeah. U of T. Because yeah. then you'd be close to home. Yeah. Oh, uh, you hate to see him about that Western. <laughs> I was, uh, in there. Probably would have gone McGill, though. He's right. I would have picked St. Andrews. So, I probably would have gone McGill? Queens. I probably would have gone McGill. Like, more, yeah. more fun than Queens, for sure. Queens is kind of bottom of the barrel. I would sure. absolutely love to be a teacher. Yeah. That would be fun. I guess so. I wouldn't, I don't know. I wouldn't want that reputation. You wouldn't? I don't really think I'd want to be known for anything in this school. All, <laughs> everything that comes to mind is like negative connotation. Yeah, I know. It could be taken that way. <laughs> I was like focus in life is like just money, but you also have like no ideas or anything right now to make that money. So yeah, I thought yeah, this nice. is the safest place. Ah, uh, I recently hit 600 views on my most recent video. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I said pan? pan. He recently bought a pan from Loblaws and he loves it a lot. <laughs> so I don't know if that'd be the one thing I say. I don't know. No peeking, William. What the? <laughs> well, your answers suck. PlayStation? What about our dog? <laughs> I, I was thinking like our home here, not home home. Oh. But I don't know. PS4 is definitely not as valuable as Diego. Laptop. <laughs> That's, yeah. Honestly, yes. yeah. Monty is our cat. So I, you'll just grab Absolutely, Monty and run. I'll grab Monty and run. But I do actually have a box that has like videos from when they were babies and stuff, and mm. I keep it so that if we do catch on fire, I just grab the box. You have a takeaway I box do. for I fires? Do. I do. That's really scary. Her boyfriend's banana pillow, and her dog Leo. She loves it more than her family, so yeah. I'm assuming that. <laughs> actually, yeah. Aww, I thought you meant Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> that would be better. Has a lot of food. 
<laughs> yeah. I was down to have fun when I am. That'd be the best roommate ever, I that's think. Yeah, Just always there. Those are pretty good roommates. That's not a bad one, yeah. Good Great food and fun. fun. I literally, vibes. I literally just wrote vibes. Like we have to vibe. You know what I mean? It has yeah, to be fun. I, I didn't want to write fun because that's like dumb. Because it can't only be fun. Because no, that's I not can't. a responsible roommate. I said respect yourself and property. Yeah. Wait, but like a roommate? Don't you want something more practical? But like that's expected. I don't care if she lies to me as long I as like the room is clean. I don't care if she's not clean. clean. Uh, I said cleanliness. <laughs> I said fun convos. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Well, I'm, I'm very into like. Like you and your roommates are all chilling, you have like fun banter and you're just hanging out and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, cleanliness too. But you're more clean than I am. Yeah. So. I'd say if you're disorganized, that's like fine. But if you're just like straight up dirty. In the common it's areas. Kinda gross. <laughs> just writing a novel. The whole experience of learning something new. And then you're done school and you go to work and it's Yeah, you don't a learn a little anything. bit of learning, but it's not quite the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, 'cause like people are always there. But yeah. Like, it's like constantly. It's Sometimes it's tiring. Yeah, but I, love the but I would here. miss it if I like left. I said the campus. I said being close to my friends. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> that too, you're just lo he loves the campus. <laughs> it is a nice campus. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. That's a good question. That's where we met. Mm -hmm. In residence. Yeah. <laughs> Some floor cest, I don't know. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I said a week. I said our res formal because I never, our entire floor didn't end up like making it to res formal. It was actually not a great day for me, but I remember it. It was the first thing that came to mind. So I didn't really realize how good it was until like now I look back, like that was a good day. It's not bad. 12 bars was great. I remember, I remember this messed up story you told me from your first year of university. That's the day I'm gonna redo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Am I really gonna say this on television? <laughs> the, day the day I got totally wasted on screen <gasps> orgasm and bar shots. Oh my it was god! Not my best day, and if I could redo it, I would redo it in a heartbeat. Oh my god! I'm not telling the whole story. So our main lounge is called the Molo, like that's what Delhi people call it, and we had a lot of fun there. Like I miss that. That's one thing I really miss. I think he's the bravest person I know. When someone gets dealt like a failure or something, not to say you fail a lot, <laughs> but like maybe you always handle it super well, and I look up to that. I admire your. Golfing abilities. I don't know if that's a good one, but like you're always teaching me on the golf course and stuff because you're better And it's fun to play with you because you actually make good shots But it's also annoying to play with because it's like You're making these shots that we can't make. I admire how strong you are after everything you've been through in your life That's like the biggest thing that I admire about you and you're like a really big inspiration for me for that because even from childhood through your adolescence through everything you went through in school and with your health um, you never let it ever stop you from being like the best mom in the whole world. And you never let it show to anyone else. You always make me cry. <laughs> you never did. You never let it, you know, impact the way that you carried yourself, even though you've been through so much. And I will be like that. Like you. Yes, I will. You will. I know I will. Thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Okay, how do I top that? <laughs> I admire how you have this incredible sense for justice that you want justice for the world and for your friends and you want to do that for uh, for the rest of your life. You want that to be like a mission for you and I admire that so much. It makes me so proud to see you do that. <laughs> it just shows what a, what a big heart you have and you've got the drive, you've got the determination and you've got the intelligence to do it. Thank You're you. gonna do it. Thank you. Her inability to be <laughs> sensitive. She can't be sensitive. I can. No, she doesn't know how to comfort when like I'm crying. Like she'll just be like, eh. yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. You never complimented. I've me. never complimented her, but the way you are with your friends, like you're genuine with your friends, Aww. and like shut up. I'd say she's very motivated. Oh, that's nice. Um, I would say I admire how caring he is. He has a really, really good heart. Would Whoa. I rather? Okay, you gotta be honest. This is like, would I rather flunk a year, or would I have one of my friends flunk yeah. a year? This is going on the internet. Oh, <laughs> closest friend for sure, Gonzo. They wouldn't be surprised if we'd go home. We one guy's gone. Yeah. Can we handpick a friend too? <laughs> <laughs> what if it was one of you guys? Oh, oh. flunk the year. Flunk the year. I can't. Uh, How else would you like get through it then? Oh, I'd rather flunk a year of school. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. Oh, that'd be so sad if one of my friends got kicked out <laughs> for that. I would say my problem that I'm having right now, I meal prepped lunch, but I'm not sure if it's been outside of the fridge for too long, because it was the pork we had last night. <laughs> my husband and I are taking ballroom dance lessons now. He's catching on really, really well. Mm -hmm. But I have a tendency to, not to lead, but to direct him. Well, I feel like if he's doing something he shouldn't be doing, the instructor will tell him. You know what I mean? So just shut it and... Just, I would honestly, just lovingly, just shut it. I miss home. Yeah. Spy dog. I know. That's all, all the problems. See? Me. Quality advice. I feel like we talk about all of our problems yeah. usually. I don't know how many yeah, I want to... I feel like if they, like, if they arise, we usually just talk about them. Yeah. I love that I can tell you anything without being judged. She can be judgy sometimes, but at the same time when I'm with her, like, I can be myself and I know, like, even though she judges me, she is. Like, yeah, you're supportive. She's even if, too. Even if, like, you don't agree with my decision. Yeah. That's the good thing. Yeah, that's, that's what I love. Yeah, I'd say what I love about Skylar most is that she can always cheer me up. Oh. <laughs> He's, like, hands down, like, the most, like, selfless person I know. Oh. And I very much love him for that. Thank you. Yeah. I think you're a really funny dude. I have a lot of fun with you. Uh, so I love that about you. I feel like no matter what um, we're doing, you can always laugh at it and it makes it more fun. Yeah, that'd be what I love most about you. I love the way that you like set the path for me and for Josie. You'll like fail first so that we don't fail when we do nice. it next year, you know? Like, nice. as the older brother. <laughs> Somehow turn that into like a jab, <laughs> but nice. I love most that you have like, this might sound selfish, in a way, but at the same time, I'm your daughter, so I come for you, like to you for comfort and home. Mm -hmm. And I like that you have like an unconditional positive regard for me. So I know that no matter what I tell you, you will always love me, which is why I'm so honest with you all the time and you know way too many details about my life. No, I, I love that you reach out to me. Mm -hmm. Like to me, that makes my day. When I get a text from you, mm -hmm. just saying, hey, how are you, whatever, it, it makes my day. Yeah, when you have Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I love you. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs>